here. Oh, right there. Alright, you can continue with your checklist. Okay. Hi, Wicked Harry Traffic Helicopter, One Pop Hotel, about a mile northeast of the airport at 2100, climbing for 3500, transition Direct to Iowa City. So, go airport, when I'll go airport, enter, and then you're on Iowa City, so now direct to, the files in the direct to page, then enter. There you go. Running checklist. But the only thing that they might have to do that'll take a second is getting uh, their clearance. Do they have, when they do their run-up, right, they have to uh, increase RPM as well? Nope. No. No. Yeah, there's no run-up on the jet. The uh, the jet the jet engine, the hottest point when it, in a jet engine cycle is uh, on startup. City traffic citation 101, Lima departing 25, the uh, eastbound departure, Iowa City. When they start up is when they're the hottest. When they're running, they're, they're, they cool down. So there's actually a limitations on how hot a jet can get during the start, where if you have a hot start, you have to shut down and they have to get things Iowa inspected. City traffic, sir, 881, Joseph, right. there's taxiing for the active runway. All right, you can pull up to the line there. Iowa City traffic, Skyhawk, San Paul, zero, zero, Papa. Taking off on runway 25, remaining on Patton, Iowa City. Alright, we can go. Were you looking at where they took off so you can take off earlier than them? So uh, no, no, uh, no, I'm just watching them take off. It's fun to watch airplanes. But yeah, there's, there's a sense of wake turbulence. Yeah. They're not too terrible. Crosswind is a 1-8, right? Yeah, so winds are, yep, so the winds are out of the left-hand side. All right, I'll set. A little bit lower on the nose there. Watch your speed. So just let it sit right about there. It'll accelerate to 75. Don't just keep turning around. Make sure you stop for that cross one leg because this is going to be tight. Like a terrible job running. Make sure you level out too. Don't wait until the altitude to level out. Do it about 50 feet before. Iowa City traffic track 740, here, Papa left down, one, two, five, Iowa City. Brian, I think I'm too close. Yep, a little bit. You didn't really do a cross one leg at all. Yeah. So yeah. make sure you square it off. I would put that on runway heading, and then you can use the reference of the, comp or the um, heading indicator. That guy is still down. Yeah. Iowa City traffic, Sirius 881, Julie Victor, taking runway 25 for takeoff, departing to the west. Nose down. First notch flaps. Not as much power. Don't let that nose come back up. Hold it down. Big turn left here. Yeah, power back in just a little bit. Bring it back to the normal, about 1,500. Turning. Keep 
Iowa City traffic track 7400, Papa left face 25, Iowa City. Yeah, don't just let the plane do its own thing when you're changing the configuration like that. Don't let that nose come up. Yeah. All you're going to do is get too slow. Start to bring that power out a little bit. Grab that third notch. Iowa City traffic sky seven four zero Sierra Papa final two five Iowa City. Uh, not quite as much power out. Bring it back in. More power. Start to bring that power back. That wing down. Start to kick a little bit, not all the way, perfect right here. Keep looking straight at that runway 25 mark. Bring your power to idle. You're holding the nose right there. Hold it, level off, pick the nose up, look down the runway. Not as much aileron. Hold it off. There you go. If we're scooting to the left, not as much aileron. Let the wind push you back to the center line. Okay, Brian, uh, tell that again the last time. Yeah, so you notice how we were coming to the left, of the, we kept going to the left of the runway. Because yeah. our bank was too much, so we want to release the bank. Let that let the crosswind push us to the center line. So we're only using enough bank to hold center line. That's it. If you're if you're creeping into the side of the wind, since the wind's coming out of the left, and we were going to the left, we don't want as much bank so that the wind helps us come out to come back to the center line. If we're going to the right when the wind's coming out of the left, is we need more bank to get to the center line. Look outside a bit more. Watch where that white on the nose is sitting, as it should sit right about there for a climb. So you can turn left here. Not quite as much rudder. Remember, in a left-hand yeah. climbing turn, you'll still probably be using right rudder. Level out. You think I should extend the crosswind? News area. A little bit, yeah. News area, traffic. Cherokee, Cherokee 16409 is going to do a low approach over runway 32. Not as much rudder. The amount of rudder you use is all based on how much aileron you use. If you use a lot of aileron, you're going to need a lot of rudder. If you don't use much aileron, you won't need much. Papa left down with 2-5 Iowa City. This is about a good distance from yeah. there. Yeah, this is pretty much perfect. Our nose is keeled just a little bit into the wind, so really good. There's that a beam point, so this is where everything happens. Power comes out. Nose comes down slightly. First notch flaps. Watch straight out when that comes in. Just hold the nose in that spot. Keep holding the nose, there you go. Holding it there. Try to get the flap in a little bit earlier. All right, use trim to get rid of the pressure that you're holding in. A little bit more. It should be right about there. It should be able to just let go. Give a left turn here. All 
grab your second notch here, a little bit of power. Not quite as much power. Iowa City traffic sack 740 is here, Papa left base runway 25, Iowa City. So everything at that beam point needs to happen like quickly. Otherwise you're gonna get really wide on the base leg. Let's see a turn final here. Uh, goes up just a little bit. Hello, area traffic, citation one, Army Delta, 15 miles to the west, inbound for landing 16, Bella. Power out a little bit. When you make the correction, don't don't hold the control input in. Just make the small correction, let the heading do the work. I bring power to idle. Slight bit of right rudder here. Look down the runway. Hold it off. Hold it off. A little bit flat, but did you notice how our wheels were straight? So we didn't like jerk to the side at all. That's exactly how much rudder we need. It might change too, because the winds might be changing, but in that instance, that's our wheels perfectly straight, or no straight aligned with the runway. Why was that music? That was my ringtone. Oh. Yes, I think it was my ringtone, I don't think it was an alarm. Let it overbank. Right, right. If you slowly bring it to 30 degrees, right when it hits 30 degrees, it's going to want to keep going. Make sure you actually like square it off. Don't keep turning the crosswind. So 2,000 RPM in the downwind. Okay, there's your beam point, power to 15. So slightly comes down, look straight ahead. Keep looking straight, flap comes in now. Keep looking straight ahead, use the trim to get rid of it if you didn't change it. Keep holding it in that spot, keep looking forward. If you look out your back window, right there is the 45, so start turning. Right as you start turning, the uh, airspeed will sneak past 75, so grab that second notch. Or sorry, sneak past 85. So keep the nose in the spot, don't let it climb. Add just a touch of power here. If you notice that notch of flaps will slow you down to 75 on its own. So with the right power setting and the right, the kind of the right wind situation, you can almost just hold the nose and power in the same spot, add flaps, and you'll come down right perfectly. 
Iowa City, traffic sky 740, zero, Papa, base to final, 25, Iowa City. All right, let's turn final. Don't let the nose creep up. There you go, that last knot. Not quite as much nose down. Roll out, actually get the roll out. Don't linger, keep pulling that nose down. A little bit less power. How much tighter that one was. Yeah. So things happen fast, but makes you a little bit, A, you can get them done a little bit faster, but B, it just keeps a nice nose position all the way down so you're not fighting to try and find the right airspeed. As typically the airspeeds all fall into place. All right, a little bit of right rudder. Get that nose down, pointing out the runway, airspeed's good. Start to bring the power to idle. All right, start that right rudder, look down the runway, start to hold it off. Hold it off a little bit more. Not as much rudder. There you go. A little bit flat, but feel how that left left wheel touches first. That one was close. For your crosswind turn, really watch your bank is you like to bank into about 20, 25, which is right, but you still hold the yoke slightly in. So when it goes 30, then you get the overbank tendencies and not as much rudder. There you go, just hold it there. All right, roll out. There you go, look at that, perfect 90 degree off the runway. I can't use my instrument though. Huh? I used to that too. Well, yeah, I mean, use it as a reference. Because the hard part with the high wing is when the wing's down, you can't see inside. You can't see inside to the runway. Yeah. I see how that one is. We went to up to about 35. Is you had that real big tendency to overturn. I can feel the wind pushing me to the... Yep. Just a wee bit to the right. I kind of stop it. It's probably good there. And it's just a small correction. You don't have... It's not holding the bank. It's just holding a different heading. Alright, flaps in. Start your turn here. We'll bring that power back in a little bit. Not quite as much, split the difference. There you go, second notch. Get that nose pointed down though. One, it's gonna be a slight hold on the nose and it should kind of fall right into place. On a fellow traffic, start your final turn. Delta Tango. Keep pulling down. Six, seven, seven, six miles Don't keep east, pulling the turn in. Inbound landing, Monticello. Slowly bring that power out, full flaps. Iowa City traffic, Scott 740, Sierra Papa Final 25, touch go, Iowa City.
a little bit of power back in. Make a correction, don't hold the correction in. There's changing there's changing where the nose is pointing, you're not changing your banking. Iowa City traffic lands two three number vector uh, eight yeah, miles to much. the uh, west landing two five Iowa City. Not as much rudder. There you go. And holding off there. So when we're when we're like going sideways and whatnot on the runway, is as we're as we're out there on the approach, is we're just turning it to change a slight heading to cut through the wind at a different angle. We're not we're not holding the wing down, otherwise we're just gonna keep turning off a of final. We're just trying to change the slight angle we're positioned on final so that we're cutting through the wind at the right direction. When you make a correction, you can make it but then bring the bank right back out. Don't don't kick it in and then hold the yoke like this, otherwise we're gonna keep turning like that. So turn it and then turn it back real quick. Yeah. Yeah, so get the wings back level when you when you're done with the correction. Close down. Not quite as much, right about there is as a good climb in the turn. So it's all pitch and power. If you stick the nose in the same spot versus rising with full power, you hold 75 every time. Iowa City traffic track 740 here. Pop turning left down one two five. Iowa City. Not as much bank. It's a tight match. Yeah, this is where we want it though. Uh. Start turning out. Not as much power. Give that nose down too. I was city traffic attack 740, so pop left face 25. I was Power up more. That's nice flaps. Iowa City traffic track 740 Sierra Papa final 25 Iowa City. Oh, power all the way to idle. A little bit high here. We're going to use the drag to our advantage. Pull the nose up. Cross field 225. Looking for the traffic. is high on the nose, start to hold it off now. There you go. That's up. Don't don't just like kick left rudder when you're on the ground. We're kind of like going back and forth right after you're reaching for your flaps, so keep looking straight outside when you're rolling. Iowa City traffic stock 740 Sierra Papa upwind uh, 25 Iowa City. Sorry for the late takeoff. Uh, I was trying to See what you're trying to say. Yeah, like so, every single saying? every single time when you're landing, right as you go. Oh, city traffic lines two, three, and I'm very west base two five. Like every single time you go to reach for the flaps, is like we dart left really quick. 
So try to just keep it rolling straight the whole time. Well, on final? No, while we're rolling out. Like when we're rolling out on the touch and go, you go for the flaps and right when you do, I think you like slightly look in and as we do, we dart to the left every time. We should be able to just roll straight down the runway. Turn crosswind. Okay, not as much rudder there. They'll probably have to hold right rudder in this turn. Sierra Papa, left downwind, 2-5, final traffic site, Iowa City. You guys don't maybe have him on site? Or yeah. Is Five, turn left. Don't let the nose come up when you do it. I was ready traffic last two, oh, three, on the Victor, clear of two, five. You want me to demonstrate a lap of the pattern, trying to keep it tight and how kind of quickly and on point you have to do things? Yeah. Okay. Kick the rudder like that. Oh, shit. A little bit of power. I bring that power back. Iowa City traffic track 740 here for final T5, Iowa City. back a little bit more. Controls. There you go. My controls. Alright, full power. Looking straight down the runway so we kind of maintain center line there. We're already at 55, rotating. Letting it kind of come off. As it does, we just kind of stick our nose right there. And kind of just give a little swipe of trim to help us hold it there. This will help us climb out at 75 the whole way. Notice it's all just the same pitch and power. We can sit here and leave the throttle where it's at. All we got to do is hold the nose in the same spot the whole way up. Actually, going to be slightly nose down for me. Any bump that occurs, you're just kind of adjusting it only to get the wings level at this point. You're not trying to do too much more than that. So it's all just slight changes in the pitch to change the airspeed, as we're not going to pull the nose up continuously to get to the airspeed. We're just going to change the pitch up a little bit, see what it does. If it gets it there, it gets it there. If it doesn't, then do a little bit more. All right, we're 1,200 feet. We can turn left. This turn here, I'm still holding in some right rudder, just not as much. About 20 degrees bank there. If you notice, I'm, even though I'm in the bank, is I'm slightly using a little bit of right 
right aileron just to kind of balance myself to stay in the right bank. All right, there's the square off, so rolling out. We're leveled off, there's our crosswind. Here comes our altitude, about 50 feet before, bringing power all the way back to 2,000. There's level off, we're clear right and left, we're going to turn in downwind, so again, just rolling into that 30 to about 20 degrees-ish or so, maybe 25 to 30, not much more than this, and if you notice, right as you hit about 30, is you're actually going to have to be doing right aileron to not get the overbank. A bit of power there. A little bit of nose up trim, maybe not. Iowa City traffic sky 740 Sierra Papa left down with 25 Iowa City. Now this final, this uh, base leg to final turn does happen pretty quick. Everything's all in succession, so we kind of kind of plan it out. Think about every little thing that has to happen. So once we get a beam, we're going to bring power out. Nose is going to come down. Holding the nose as we add in flaps. All that should happen with a span of about five to ten seconds. Then we can just kind of hold the nose in the same spot, progressively add flaps on the way around. So again, we're getting a little pushed in here. If we look, we're getting ready to cross the beam. There's the beam point. Power comes out to 1500. Personally, I like to loosen my uh, thing up. Flaps 10. Our nose is already down. So I'm just holding that flap in there. Yeah, if I let up, it's going to go nose up. So I use that trim wheel to get rid of that pressure so the nose stays in the same spot. It's all quick because we're already at our 45, so we're turning a little left face now. I grab second notch right here because you typically sneak right below the 85 as you turn. Iowa City traffic stack 740, Sierra Papa left face 25, Iowa City. Power snuck out just a little bit, so a slight bump just to get us back 15, 1600 or so. Uh, maybe not, we're a little bit high. We'll go a little last notch flaps as we turn here to final. Iowa City traffic stack 740 Sierra Papa turn final 25 Iowa City. Just think about the same bank attitude as I mean don't don't think about just the uh, okay at the turn in at the bank in bank out. You need to. It's not the the aileron movement is not necessarily corresponding with where everything goes because we have to use the aileron to turn out of the turn. If you look overshot a little bit, so just using the difference of the heading angle to get me back there. So I'm just going to turn right a little bit here. That's about all I'm going to need. We're still straight on. A little bit of power. We're getting a little bit of a sink here. A little bit more power. Looking right out the runway. I can use a little bit of nose up to slow down a touch. Still coming down. I'm looking straight out the numbers. Squeezing just a little bit of right rudder because that's what we're going to need. As I bring the power out to idle here, we're going to level off. If you look, that right rudder is starting to hold the nose straight, holding off a little bit more. There comes the final sink. There's that left wheel. There's the right wheel. We're straight down the center line. Flaps coming up. We're going to go full power slowly. There's that full power. Starting to pick the nose. There's 55. Here comes the rotation. I'll just slightly holding that left aileron in as we come off to plant that left wheel. And there's our climb. We can use a slightly nose up trim since throughout the um, base leg or that would be in point we put in some nose down. There you go. That It's a lot, but just in this portion, anytime we have a change, just try and keep the wings level. So if you notice the bump kind of kicked it to the left like that, just get the wing back level. Make sense? Yeah. And then, all right, you can have flight controls. I have flight controls. Your controls. You guys, you see, and to hold that same bank is you're actually using slight right ailerons to keep it in there.
can't power out a little bit more. Start 45, start turning. Can't power back in. There you go. Try to keep the turn actually going. Get it to the bank, hold it there. Don't let it overbank. I'll roll out. Don't use these small aileron corrections. Actually get it in the turn. All right, second notch. All right, you can turn now. Let the turn, like, actually get it to the turn, hold it there. 30 degrees? Yeah, I mean, 25 to 30 degrees, but the big thing is, is actually use the aileron to get there. Don't just put it at this, like, eighth of a turn of the aileron. I mean, actually use the aileron to get your turn going. All right, last notch. Iowa City, traffic track 740, Sierra Papa, final 25, Iowa City. Good touch and go, full stop. Uh, touch and go. I'll probably do two more. We'll check the time to be sure. That's 1044. Hold it off, hold it off, hold off. Now we need to get that transition point back going. Your uh, rudder inputs are actually, rudder and aileron inputs are actually pretty good. And it's just we gotta get that transition right, because when we get close like that, is you get the like, and you just yank back and go up way too fast. So yank up means I pull the fly too fast? Yeah, but we got to start that pull up earlier because we are getting really low on the pull up. If we didn't pull up that much, we would have hit the runway. Uh, so we need to start the transition just a little bit earlier. Okay. If you notice with that nose down. Transition turn, means transition to pull up. Yeah, starting to get the nose up. When you come down, if you're at 65, you can pull the nose level, then it'll want to start to sink a little bit. But if you notice, since we have that nose down trim, is you're going to have to use that. You're going to have to kind of fix yourself to get the nose up. Iowa City, traffic sky 740, Sierra Papa left down 125, Iowa City. Iowa City, traffic stack 740, Sierra Papa, final 25, Iowa City. Sixty-five.
try to bring that power out. Start your level off right about here. Start picking that nose up. Look down the runway. A little bit of rudder. Start holding it off more, more, more. A little bit flat so we can hold it off more, but the start of the transition is exactly where we want it. If the nose is slightly up to where you're slowing down, you don't have to push the nose down to get to their speed. If you know yeah. we're already fast. As you just want to let the nose come down just like a little bit and see what it does. Now if the airspeed's really, really low, then yes, we want to get the nose down, but don't just like push the nose to level. Like yeah, that's just good. go a little bit down. Iowa City traffic track seven four zero zero pop turn left down wind two five, Iowa City. Oh, there's a plane there, though. Yeah, there's yeah. tanks into the runway. What do I do? They're gonna hold short for us. Okay. The, hope they do. Lapse. Iowa City traffic track 740, Sierra Papa left face 25, uh, full stop Iowa City. Start three now, a uh, tailwind. I made the same mistake, but uh, not turning earlier, just now. Iowa City, traffic sky 740, Sierra Papa final 25, Iowa City. some power. Make sure we get that input in a little bit higher of the rudder there. All right, flaps up. And we're going to stop here. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, we're stopping. Is that runway? Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
Iowa City, traffic's 740, Sierra Pop, clear of all runways, taxi in the ramp, Iowa City.